Okay, this is the Optima F. Uh, you haven't tried one yet. Uh, I've given you the funky head, mm -hmm. so have a little play and uh, tell me what you think. It's a lovely, brilliant whistle, and this design here, the plastic head, um, is supposed to help players transition from penny whistle to low whistle. Um, but for me, this uh, like playing this particular whistle, it's no different to the ones that I play. The plastic head is uh, it makes, it's just a brilliant whistle, easy to play, really nice sounding, and it will inspire anybody to play because it's that nice sort of sound, and you can put it loads of different things on loads of different genres and I find but like you know you can you can put a load of, you can swamp it and delay and reverb and then put it on a heavy rock track and people go why is that that sounds really fucking cool and you know and just it's what it's all about um and it, uh, yeah what about breath breath, breath breath requirement breath, you breath find? Requirement. it's easy easy peasy Nothing. just it just the air flows through it and falls through it it's absolutely yeah. brilliant and, and tone and tone, it's warm, it's clear, it's crisp, um, and it's easy to play at the same time. You don't find many instruments like that, so totally this will inspire me. How do you find the scalloped holes? Because I'm trying to scallop everything there. Really comfortable, really comfortable, and particularly if you were to play it without a piper's grip, I think people would be really happy with how it is. Uh, but with piper's grip, it is more comfortable. So just Have you got something slow you could play on it? Yeah. American tune. Um, but yeah, that's just a brilliant instrument for anyone who wants to play something new or play or playing low whistles or want to go in two low whistles from penny whistles. This is perfect. So uh, an F is a nice transitional. F is a really nice transitional key as well, just because it's a bit s smaller than the D, and people always do kind of go got to stretch ridiculously yeah, yeah. so to get there. Whereas with an F, I've always found it a really nice key. And well, just needs you've, to had, you've had the uh, the Optima D I for have. a while. Um, I'm going to give you my one because um, oh, yeah. yours is a tunable. This, tunable. this, this is, is the the uh, budget model. Mm -hmm. uh, Forty nine pounds. Uh, have a blast on that, and I'll be interested in your comments.
again, for £49, this is a brilliant instrument and just so warm and mellow. And as I say, it's just got such a scope for playing in so many different genres. But, you know, and Kev mentioned many years ago that yeah. it had um, a, a, a good texture within the tone, but he liked that the, he could tongue it and all of these little tricky things. Yes. Uh, have you got any little tonguing tricks yeah. that you can do so you to can show it off, it just as a set? Because it doesn't take a lot of air, does it? No, it doesn't. So you can really get the tonguing aspect. Get the whole kind of. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what I mean, would you have a, a message to people who are not whistle players, who are thinking to take on the instrument? I mean, what would you say to somebody who's saying, oh, I'm kind of thinking about a whistle? I would say it is a brilliant, a brilliant. Show. It's it's pretty simple design, but it's and it's but it's a it's got so much capability to it, and so many different techniques and such a scope for playing in different genres again. Um, if you're moving from a classical flute to a whistle, as I did, um, the classical flute can sound quite twee sometimes, whereas this certainly doesn't. It, if, it's play, if it's played in the right hands and if you're using the classical techniques, it sounds brilliant. Um, and for those who are moving from sort of flageolets or penny whistles onto these things, onto these low whistles, they are just so mellow and warm and they sound Again, less twee or less shrill, um, and almost what are class as an earthy quality. An earthy quality. Yeah. And there you go. That's that's, and it's just it's such amazing simple instruments. You don't find stuff like this nowadays, and you can put it again into any category. It doesn't have to be Celtic music. It could be jazz. It can be rock. It can be just so many different things. Yeah. And yeah. So definitely. Mm -hmm. 